Well, Thanksgiving is just two days away and local politicians are looking to give back to the community. Illinois State Senator Dale Fowler is in Harrisburg right now. He's giving away turkeys and hams. News 3's Paul Wilcoxon is live in Harrisburg. Hey, Paul, what can you tell us about what's going on out there? Shay, good evening. I'm here in Harrisburg. First off, I just want to say happy Thanksgiving to you and your family. You know, Thanksgiving is one of my favorite times of the year because there's so many things to be thankful for throughout the year. I am here at the First Presbyterian Church Annex Buildings where Heaven's Kitchens is doing their Thanksgiving dinner right now. And I'm going to bring in right now Senator Dale Fowler. Dale, come on in here right now and speak with me a little bit here. Dale, your involvement with this and everything like that, just talk about what we've got going on here today. Exactly. This is our annual Thanksgiving feast. Uh, we're going to be serving probably four to 500 meals, and we're going to also be delivering to shut-ins. And then also Meridian has donated 150 turkeys and 150 hams that we're distributing as well. It's a, it's a great event. It's a great community effort, and so thankful to all. Uh, you know, everyone that supports what we do so we can give back to the community. Yeah, I mean, you, we've talked about this. Uh, you know, this is uh, something you guys have done for quite a while, everything. Just talk about, you know, everything that you have to do as a senator. Talk about what something like this means to you. Well, I created my foundation 21 years ago, the Close for Kids program, where we're helping over 600 children a year with having a new a, a wardrobe for school that otherwise wouldn't have it. And then five years ago, a little over five years ago, we created Heaven's Kitchen. We have an a event here in, in, every Tuesday night in Harrisburg at the Annex, and then on Thursday night at the Ministerial Alliance in, in, in uh, Marion. So, but here, uh, this is our annual feast, and we... Uh, Huge turnout with volunteers, and it's a great home cooked meal. The environment's great. We, you know, we bring everyone in and we greet them. We sit them at the table, and we go around. And we have a conversation with them and create an atmosphere that maybe otherwise they wouldn't have. Uh, so that's what we're really thankful for. And. Uh, this is just, uh, it's really heartwarming to see this this evening. Now, Senator Feller, correct me if I'm wrong, 125 turkeys and hams, first come, first serve, and you're here until, what, 6 o'clock? Right, we're serving from 4 to 6, yes. So and if you have an opportunity to come down, come down and Stop by. There's still a few turkeys left, absolutely. And, uh, you know, I'm just still thankful, as you said. You know, we have so much to be thankful for. And with the food insecurities that we have in southern Illinois, and not only do we do this, but we're distributing food. Heaven's Kitchen is throughout all of southern, southern Illinois to some of our schools to distribute to the students to take home on weekends. We've created our own little uh, micro food pantry. So well, we're doing everything we can to reach out, especially to some of our southern counties in the state of Illinois and in my district, especially that uh, otherwise wouldn't have good a good meal. So we've, we've actually uh, distributed hundreds upon hundreds of hams and turkeys just in the last three or four days throughout all of southern Illinois. And not only are we distributing the hams and turkeys when we're delivering those, but they're also getting all the fixings to go with, the mashed potatoes, you know, the stuffing, the dessert. Desserts, so they can cook a great Thanksgiving meal in their family environment that well, maybe wouldn't have otherwise. Well, definitely, I went over there and I saw what you guys are serving. I might have to go over and enjoy a plate myself, too. Shay, I'm going to send it back to you. I'm reporting live in Harrisburg, Paul Wilcoxon, News 3.